All right, let's get a look at the radar. Nothing going on across the Brazos Valley this evening. Most of the activity has been to our south and east throughout the day. Showers and storms impacted a large part of coastal Texas, but that activity has started to weaken. We're now focused on activity that's out across the Texas Panhandle. Notice this complex of showers and storms. Uh, the entire complex is severe right now, and it's going to work its way toward the south and the east as we head into the overnight hours and we're going to see some impacts from this as we head into tomorrow morning. We'll talk about that here in just a second, but the showers and thunderstorms really kept those temperatures down today. We saw a blow off of the cloud cover here in the Brazos Valley that kept our temperature at 85 degrees here in Bryan College Station. Notice though, as you get into that northwestern zone, those temperatures climbed into the low to mid 90s where they weren't influenced by that cloud cover. Temperatures only climbed into the low 80s, say in Conroe, 81 degrees was that high and we will take it after the past couple weeks of those above average temperatures. Now the dew points out there are in the 70s and the temperatures are in the 70s right now, so it's making it feel a little bit uncomfortable. We're sitting at 78 degrees here in Bryan College Station with that dew point in the mid 70s. So if you have to go out and walk that dog before you go to bed, it's going to be a little bit sticky. Now the temperatures are still really warm out across western parts of Texas. 96 degrees in Del Rio, 89 in Midland. I know it's a little bit cooler right now in Amarillo, but that's because of the showers and thunderstorms working their way toward the south and east. 64 degrees there, so that is some of that rain cool there. We have a pretty good chance of showers and storms over the next few days. We're going to have a boundary that just kind of chills out over southeastern parts of Texas. This is going to ignite showers and thunderstorms each afternoon as it kind of waffles around the area and with that rich moisture in place and we're going to see the steering currents just kind of collapse. We could see some pretty heavy rainfall not only across the Brazos Valley but across a large part of southeastern Texas. That's going to be something that we have to keep a close eye on. So taking a look at future radar, notice the showers and storms working their way down into northern Texas heading into tomorrow morning. These are the showers and storms across the Texas Panhandle. This is going to send an outflow boundary into the Brazos Valley. That'll trigger some showers and storms as we head into uh, the afternoon hours tomorrow. Can't rule out some morning activity, but it'll be really isolated in nature. And then as we head into Wednesday, it's going to be a similar setup. An outflow boundary kind of chilling across the area. You add in the daytime heating, that's going to lead to some showers and thunderstorms out there heading into Wednesday as well. We're taking uh, taking a look at the rainfall we're expecting. We're expecting an additional one to four inches across the Brazos Valley with isolated five to six inch amounts of rain. So that could lead to some flash flooding for some areas if you get some of that heavier rain and you've already picked up some rain. So just keep that in mind. Some heavier activity heading toward coastal parts of Texas where there could be uh, beyond that six inches maybe eight inches of rain. So this is something we're going to keep a close eye on on the next couple of days. We do have some tropical depression four that we're keeping an eye on. This isn't going to impact the U.S. It does have maximum sustained winds of 35 miles per hour right now. We'll continue to track this and again, not going to impact the U.S., and we don't have any activity in the Gulf of Mexico right now. So that's good news. Gabriella, the rain and cloud cover is going to keep those temperatures into the 80s for highs. So enjoy it.